Hello, it's Jules de Groot again uh, with the second of my uh, video casts. And uh, in this one, uh, I'd like to talk about mindful meditation. I had um, suggested in the last one that I would talk about reframing. However, for me, I think on reflection, uh, this leads into reframing in, in, in a uh, more easy uh, way. Um, so I'm actually going to launch in quite quickly as it's quite a short video. Um, so in, uh, if any of you have been to Occupational Health or you as managers have had any of our letters, you'll see that we um, recommend uh, mindfulness and mindful meditation a lot in our, in our uh, reports and we give people lots of resources about that. Um, and uh, Liv Dunlop and I have been um, and have, have developed and are now delivering um, courses on being mindful, um, be mindful about mental health, at which we explore some of these themes a lot more um, and get people to, to participate. So um, uh, the first thing I wanted to talk about really was, uh, uh, was um, three stage breathing, which is um, a breathing where one can really ground oneself. And particularly when one is overwhelmed or um, facing coming, you know, perhaps one gets a, a difficult email at work or it's from somebody you find quite difficult to work with um, and um, um, anxious about it or something in your family, something that's going on for you. So um, what one can do is just do three, three, what's called three stage breathing. So just doing three breaths in, long, gentle breaths in and out again. It works really well if you sit on your chair and you imagine as though your feet were rooted to the ground. Um, and just taking those breaths um, is really helpful. There are obviously longer videos um, which uh, people can do and there's lots of uh, on the internet. And I think the key thing about um, mindful meditation is really finding someone or a, um, a video that you really like the sound of, that you like the person's voice and their delivery. And quite often they're playing music in the background and I think that's really important as well because um, the music, it, it needs to be quite soothing and fit with the person's voice. Otherwise, if it grates on you, it won't, it won't work. Um, 10 minute breathing exercises can be very, very helpful. But the key one I really wanted to talk about today, which I would really like to ask you to look into and consider, is a longer uh, meditation called a body scanning exercise. And the main, one of the main people I recommend is, again, John Kabat-Zinn. Um, he's uh, one of the main people in this area, but there are lots of others on lots of websites. Again, the Headspace app is very good and, and lots of people are finding that really helpful and, um, and supportive. Although you do have to pay for the longer meditations if you um, get into those. Now the 40 minute breathing exercise, the goal is just as important as the journey or the journey is just as important as the goal. So the 40 minute breathing exercise really takes lots of practice and I mean and weeks and weeks of practice of trying to do it you know two or three times a week and the essence of it for me is um, it's a 40 minute um, exercise where you lie on your bed and you imagine as though you're breathing from your toes and your breath were passing uh, I think a lot of the um, video casts uh, podcasts talk about your breath going through your body which I think is quite a difficult concept for a lot of people um, but actually for me, if you imagine as though you're breathing from your toes and your breath were going over your body, passing over close to your body um, and then down again very slowly and then from the middle of your feet up and down again and uh, very slowly and gently. And every time all the thoughts come crashing in which you're anxious about, which they do and will do, just think, I'm not going to think about that now, I'm going back to the breathing. I'm not going to think that now, I'm going back to the breathing. And the whole essence of it is that it's a mind coaching exercise. So actually, um, over time and over weeks, if you get really good at it, which I have been um, at times in the past, you can get yourself into this empty headspace and start to see colours. And that's one of the first levels of meditation. People talk about emptying your mind um, and letting things look at them and let them go again. But actually, um, 
that's a very difficult concept and, and people take years and years to learn that. So for me, the concentration on the breathing is actually very helpful because it gives you something else to focus on and something else you can keep grounding yourself to go back to. And, uh, uh, and although actually achieving the point where you can get your head into this empty headspace and, uh, and the feeling uh, and the seeing colours, which um, if any of you are familiar with chakras, I like to liken to my chakras to give me some sense of, of where I am. So, so you, that's something else you might want to look into. Um, but um, actually the feeling of that is very, very good and it really it's really helpful. And there is lots of um, evidence that really that getting into that level of meditation is very helpful. If I'm doing well with it in the morning, I can just key into that without having to do the whole thing. But if I haven't been practicing and I haven't been doing it for a while, I have to go back to doing the longer meditation. Um, I encourage people to do this with sleep. And, and once you've got used to doing the practice of the whole thing, then uh, listening to a music you like is very, very good to do that, particularly if you're having difficulties with sleep and it really calms, calms your brain. Um, but I also wanted to, before we close, talk about the journey and the journey of coaching your mind from one thing, saying, I'm not going to think that now, to another, I'm going to think, I'm going back to the breathing is like a, is a mind coaching exercise and actually what a, uh, happens to a lot of people and a lot of people who we, we wouldn't even see is they can get very anxious particularly at this time when we're having to cope with all these new things this new situation we're not able to link with our colleagues we're not linking with our family we're may, maybe facing some challenging challenging situations and we're trying to manage work feeling anxious some of us may have um, other things going on as well um, so feeling anxious can be quite difficult to manage uh, and, and that kind of racing anxiety people describe as if as if your mind were running off down the hill in front of you. That's that's kind of how I think of it. Um, and um, the thing about the uh, mindful meditation is you start to calm your mind and take more control over your mind in the sense that you start to choose whether you can think about it. And in that sense, it's not to not acknowledge uh, your difficulties but almost like a fork in the road where you can think, um, I'm not going to think that now. I have been in these difficulties, but that doesn't mean, but what I can do is feel I have some control over them and there are some things I can do to keep myself well during this period. And you find other tools and techniques. This is just one, one tool and technique to assist you in that. And for me, as my colleagues, um, all of us in the wellbeing team, it's always a plethora of things that really help and support people with their wellbeing. You know, mindful meditation, lifestyle, some of the lifestyle information and clinics we're offering. Um, it may be counselling, it may be it may be medication, um, you know, uh, wellbeing things, structuring your day, eating well, um, uh, exercise, all, the, all those things. And you'll also see lots of information on our website about those things as well. But actually, um, this as this as one part of it can really help assist you. And it is the journey that really helps with that. And that will then lead into um, my discussion next week about reframing. So um, I think that's it from me today. Uh, please do look up and look up information. Sorry about the scratching. It's my dog trying to get in. <laughs> um, I thought she'd be too loud. <laughs> um, and um, stay safe, stay well. Uh, Keep your distance and I wish you all the best and uh, do look up, up all the things we're doing to support and help you. And I hope that's that's um, uh, good and supportive for you. OK, thank you. Bye.